as you just said, the numbers were not kind. Danny Cannell, second straight week, starting in place of the injured Jake Plummer and the injured Steve Verline to the first after a Tom Brady fumble. Broncos, third down on the Pats 25. Danny Cannell looks to excite the crowd and does finding Rod Smith first down. Then, Clinton Ford is looking for space, finds it so easily yet. 26 carries, 111 yards. Take another look. Great block here by Tom Nalen on Roman Pfeiffer, and that cleared the way for Portis. Portis, the first running back to rush for 100 yards against the pass this year. Tom Brady came into the game without throwing a pick in 132 pass attempts. October 28, 2001. Last time he had such a streak, threw four picks at Denver in the fourth quarter. So here we go, back to Monday night. Patriots down 7-0, third and 10, what happens? Brady dropping back, and what is that? Oh, no, no, it's not a, oh, yes, intercepted by Kenoy Kennedy, who also recovered a Brady fumble earlier, another streak staffed by Denver. Later in the first same score, first down, Patriots, Brady, play action. Going vertical, Steve, just the way you like it, finding Dion Brand, 66 <laughs> yards score. Good things happen. Yes, especially for the Patriots, tie the game at 7. Second quarter, as if these two teams didn't have enough injury issues. 7-7. Seven, seven. Jason Elam knocks it through from 43, but now the kicker's hurt. 10-7 Denver. Look at Elam. Obviously injured. Aggravated a pulled groin, and he would not be able to continue in this football game. That would play a part in the field position battle. 10-10 of the second quarter. Danny Cannell, Shannon Sharp. Cannell Monday, 16 of 35 for 163. Completes a 14 play, 72 yard drive. Mike Anderson there. Nice job by Cannell at 16-10, but remember they got no kicker, so here's the punter. Mike and Knorr has never had an extra point of the NFL until now. Knocks it through. Nice job. 17-10 Denver. 17-13, second and goal. It's Brady. Faking the pitch, rolling out, finding, yes, that Daniel Graham. Four catches, 39 yards. Patriots on top by three, 2017. Late in the third, same score after defensive holding. The Patriots re-kick. A good or bad thing? Well, it depends which team you're rooting for. Because it was a great thing for Denver and Delta O'Neal, who takes advantage of that line drive punt. 57 yards to the house. Broncos lead 24-20. to This is rare. This was the first punt return for a touchdown allowed by New England in the last 168 games. Hasn't happened since September of 93. Longest such streak in the NFL, Steve. But as we go to the fourth quarter, remember, Jason Elam is hurt, can kick, so the Broncos on the New England 33 cannot kick the field goal. They have to settle for the chip shot punt, and the fans don't like it. What can he do? Elam's hurt. Ensuing drive, third down, Brady for David Gibbons. Gibbons has it and then lets it go. New England completed only three of 12 third downs, ensuing Denver possession. What would be a 52-yard field goal. They can't do it. Elam's hurt. So again, they got a punt, and look at this. Knocks it down at the one, pinning back the Pats, who went three and out. So on their punt, Bill Belichick, instead of risking it, decides to take the intentional safety, play field position. So the Broncos now have a three-point lead. A gamble by Belichick. We'll see if it would work out. Here's the free kick. And remember, Delta O'Neal ran a punt back for a touchdown earlier in the game. Doesn't want to feel this one. A poor kick by Ken Walter. Tin turns into a great play for the Pats as O'Neal is pinned inside the 15. So it works out field position-wise for the Patriots because Ashley Lee can't hold on there. And New England gets the ball back. Two minutes to go. Brady. 19 yards to Kevin Falk here. They are moving the chains. The flag is on the Broncos to so throw that out. The play stands. Same drive, third down. It's Falk again. Brady Monday, 20 of 35 for 350 yards. Next play, just about 30 seconds to go. Givens, touchdown, ball game. New England has won five in a row. Bill Belichick's path seven and two. As they head into their bye week, the intentional safety gamble pays off. Situationally, it you know, that, that's what you practice them for, and, and uh, you know, we did that the last time. One of the, let's see, in 2000, we were out here. We took a safety, a similar situation. Of course, O'Neal ran it back for a touchdown on us, but, um, you know, there, there are times when I think it's the right play to make, just in terms of trying to gain some field position, and, uh, you know, we just thought this was one of them. It doesn't take much practice. Just tell the center to snap it over the punter's head. I mean, it's pretty easy. It's, it's, it's situationally when to do it. You know, the actual execution of the play is... You know, you could do that in junior high, just snapping out of the end zone. 
They meant to do that. Since becoming New England's starting quarterback in 2001, Tom Brady has guided his team to nine game-winning drives in the fourth quarter or overtime. Only Kerry Collins of the Giants has more. Exactly one-third of Tom Brady's 27 NFL wins have come in this fashion. And now to explain the plays, we go to the playmaker, Sean Salisbury.